Welcome back, everybody. Gold Crest Valley Xbox One Edition. What are we doing? Well, if you look in the top right corner, folks, we are making money. I don't know if y'all remember last time, but we left off doing the wood chips off the poplars over here. So uh, we're going to go over here real quick and check them out. I'm going to have to do some math here, which I ain't good at it. But we have one, two, two trailers full at 70000 each. And I believe these trailers here are 32000 a piece, I believe. And, um, yeah, we got, I think, those two over there may be empty. This one here ain't quite full. And as you see, I stopped it right here. Well, folks, in this video, we're going to finish this. We're going to get the Pecan uh, Forge. Well, I don't know if you want to call it Forge Mixer or not. But it's what mixes uh, hay bales, straw bales, and grass bales together so the cows can have power food. We done had it once before on this site or on this. So we're going to try it again. And uh, we're going to be selling some things because we are getting in the hole, even though we got money right now. And here in a minute, I'll go on details. I uh, took a screenshot that I'm going to insert right about now. Okay. Y'all see that? Oh, I got a little spot over here I didn't get. But those two trailers are empty, so that's good. Um, I'm going to sell this head. We're not going to do poplars no more. And um, might be some other things coming about, too. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be about it. We have, we're waiting on our crops to grow. And uh, we, as you can see, far back there, we may be doing a harvest in of this episode. I, I'm not for sure. But, um, yeah. So, uh, this is what we got in wood chips right here. Just off of this field here. I have not sold none. Nor have I placed any on the pile. This is strictly off of this field here. So that's 265,000 liters of wood chips off of this field. Can you imagine if we planted a big field? So poplars probably would be a pretty good thing to get into, but um, yeah, I'm just uh, not going to do it. Like I said in the last episode, and probably be saying it in the next couple episodes, Goldcrest Valley, P, I mean, Goldcrest Valley Xbox One, folks, is probably going to be going bye bye. I hate to say that, but um, we're going to make the episodes interesting, but uh, we got. Uh, uh, we got to come up with something else. We got to go to bigger and better maps. And on, uh, why would it close out? Oh, the lid was still open. That's why. We got to go to bigger and better maps, folks. And the only way we can do that is go to PC. And, um, because, uh, we, we got mods, but, you know, a lot of mods we can't get because they got scripts in them. And so that's one reason why I'm switching over to PC version. So that's it. We're basically next several, 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 several episodes. We will be pretty much just selling off stuff. Um, so I hope you please stay tuned and continue watching because, uh, it, it, I will try to make it fun. Hopefully. Hopefully I can do that. Oh crap. I was trying to. Yeah, there we go. 
Look at those two trailers up. Oh, look at all these. Oh, look at that white Bronco. Oh, there's a red Bronco. I could say something about that white Bronco, but I'm not. No, no, can't do it. The red Bronco, if it had a uh, white... Well, I... Oh, no, it's cream color. It was a cream color top, and I painted it red. Didn't quite look all that good either. But, uh, yeah, I painted it red, match Bronco, because I had a red Bronco. And, uh, I had was a blast back in, folks. I, I, I was, what, 16, 18, 20, somewhere in there. Out mudding. Didn't really didn't care nothing about the girls back in. I just was out mudding. That's all I cared about was mud. Mud, mud, mud. Mud up to my elbows. Alright, good. We got another one done. Close this out. We may need a few of these trailers to haul some grain in. So, uh, yeah. Alright, um. Let's see here. We're going to pull these across the road right now and get them out of the way. Uh, folks, I don't think I'll be doing another harvest all the way around. I might do some close by the shops, but like these fields up here. Uh, I'll probably do the harvest and that'll be it on all those fields. And uh, as you notice where I go on uh, that little insert I put in, I just totally forgot about it, didn't I? And sir, didn't forget about talking about it. But as you can see, let me turn my light on for a second here and talk about it a little bit. If you added everything up, you know, the sold milk was 76,437. Okay, that's the milk we sold at midnight. But our animal upkeep was $45,280. And, um,. Vehicle running cost was $34,809. Then the property maintenance was $1,849. And then the uh, lease loan was $884. So yeah, that right there was $82,822. So if you take 82000 away from 76000 that leaves $6,385 that we was in the hole. And that's right, folks. That's what we was in the hole. The milk didn't cover 6385 of that cost. Oop. Now, if we had our property down, that might would have been different. We might have came out even. But, uh, yeah, my phone going off over here. I told Boo that it's going to record. She's like, okay. And then, good thing I put my phone on vibrate. Yeah, Boo, I'm roasting you right now. Put my phone on vibrate, thank goodness, because here she is, 15 minutes later, it takes me. So, uh, thanks, Boo. Yeah, be all right. Oh, folks! Oh, folks! Uh, while I'm doing all this wood chips and stuff, I want to talk to you about something. Have y'all ever been geocaching? Yeah, G E O C A C H I N G. Oh, folks, it, it's a trip. Um, the YouTuber named Colin Julian. One of my friends was, I hope we're friends. I'm pretty sure we're friends. Anyway, uh, enough friends, huh? Um, he he uh, makes the videos of it. I just went out and tried it for myself because he said it was real fun. And folks, it's more than fun. It's addicting. Just like he said, he said it's like being pirates. Yeah. But you just go to... Uh, www.geocaching.com 
and uh, it's better if you use the app because one of my friends had it the app on her phone she installed it after find out what we're doing I just had the website uh, for me it just showed you know like just a couple of my area but she done the website and it pulled up a whole lot more or not the website but the app she pulled up the app and done it and I'm like oh my goodness so yeah uh, but anyway we found one it just had a uh, uh, piece of paper in it with the date and the original geocaching tag and um, one piece of paper it had two pieces of paper in it one was the tag that you insert that it can be tracked if people actually you know would label it on the website that they found it so but I'll get on all details on that and stuff later uh, but anyway I put the two originals back in. I uh, put a new one in with my name and date on it and hit it back. And uh, come think of it, I forgot to log it, so I gotta do that when I get off here. And then uh, also, uh, the other one we went, see, we went and done three. And um, one of them was gone, it wasn't nothing there no more. Let's go to this tree, and this tree's got like a hollow area in it. And, uh, well, anyway, we, uh, couldn't find nothing there. So we went on to the other one, and it had a posting sign, but come find out, uh, everybody's been ignoring, ignoring the posting sign, but we was there at midnight, so I wasn't going to take a chance on it and stuff, so... We're planning on going back through it during the day. I'm going to talk to the, the police over and see what all they have to say about it. So, yeah. But anyway, oh, folks, our money's been stopped. Go back over here. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. So, uh, if you want to take take a look at it and see what it's all about go to the website or go to YouTube and pull up Colin Julian and uh, or Colin Julian blogs and you will see what it's all about he has fun I, I got looking at it I'm like oh wow that is fun and this is awesome awesome sauce I got the front loader here because I don't I didn't think the conveyor would reach all the way I'm pretty sure it will but just in case uh, it's for the scooping uh, as you can see here we still got a lot of silage and hay on the ground and we got a lot of straw in the bins so the cows will probably be the last ones to go along with the sheep um, like I said we're going kind of just uh, um, what's the word for it equalize the straw between the pigs and the cows and then uh, when the straw starts getting low and we can't feed either one of the cows or the pigs we'll uh, you know start going towards it the selling the pigs out so the cows will have a straw up here to finish his food out. Um, I don't know if this tractor will be able to get this thing or not. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna run right up here and get it while I'm running up here. My buttons ain't been working. Come on now. Just turn my light out there in case y'all wonder what that clicking sound was. See, folks, the fields are getting ready. It's almost time to mow the grass again, too. Well, I don't know about the grass. Uh, might hold off on that until we find out what we need. So, uh, yeah. Well, the first thing, I want to get rid of this trailer here. Because we won't be using it no more. No, no time soon. So, it's one thing we're going to get rid of. Now, like I said, the head on the... Uh, 
chaffing machine. We're going to get rid of it too. And um, we're not going to close out this episode, folks, but we are going to start laying by some stuff. Um, I got us up to 204. That's good because I'm fixing to take half of this money and buy this thing right here. The pecan. Bigger, mega, mama more. Well, y'all can pronounce that. I wouldn't know what I was doing last time when we had it. And now I know it, it's got to be mixed with hay and not grass. So, yeah. And when we get done with the wood chips, we're going to take the front loader down the cows and use it to load this up. And also we got some hay up by biogas. Um, if we get enough, we're going to silage it out and if it ain't enough to tarp it stuff, we're going to just haul it down here. So y'all see that here in a minute? I'm trying to keep an eye on the, uh, well, eye on the money too, trying to make it get back up there. Oh man, I was doing so good not getting stuff. But uh, I don't know how much straw we need for this thing. Yeah, I, I don't know, folks. I, I really don't know. I'm going to go down here and put probably about 6,000 liters in it. Because usually about 35 to 4,000 liters into the other one. So I'm just going to shoot right at 6,000. No, I'm probably go about 10th. Ah, ah, right there. Way too much. That's probably way too much. Um, does the cows need? Let's see. Well, y'all know, pause that if you want to watch it. I do have seeds and fertilizers on to buy. It's, 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 it's an Xbox, folks. I'm sorry. But that's the progress on the fields there, on the growth. Show y'all the fruit types. 5, 9, and 13 is corn, and everything else is soybeans. Um, so, 17 all around, I, I can go ahead and be uh, getting the combine out. And by our combine's up by 12, so uh, we'll see on that. Our soybeans are going up, so that's good. Uh, we got a loan to pay back also. So, and good. Our cows need straw, so I'm going to dump some of this back out so they'll have straw. And our pigs need potatoes. Now, we're back up to 802 pigs. Wow. Reproduction rate on the pigs, folks, is every 10 minutes we get a pig. Okay, yeah, that's, that's definitely going to have to go right there. We're going to sell some of them. But we may or may not take this money over to a new map. Um, what I'm thinking about is... I kind of got on the idea of liking... Cherry Hills and Pleasant Valley. So I've been thinking, folks. I've been thinking. Been thinking a lot. Uh, Cherry Hills might go two episodes a week now. The Wednesday and Saturday. Maybe. I, I don't know. Quite yet. I'm still thinking about all that. So. 
we're gonna park this tractor right there for now folks we got uh, a lot of stuff to do let's check on our sheep I didn't look at them but they're gonna need some food and uh, filling up with water too and it won't let me it must have had an update oh got it oh all the water let's go ahead and feed them like I said uh, we're just going to run everything out and then sell off no straw here all we got is hay and uh yeah, just remember, folks, don't fill your sheeps up with, uh, all the way up with hay. Leave a little room in there. And also, corn with the, uh, pigs. And with the cows, it's the straw. So, if you fill them all the way up, these little robots here won't work whatsoever. I don't know how much, uh, oh, they're gone. They'll probably take that whole trailer there. Yep, they took the whole trailer to get out of the way of the robot. All right. Which, that'll, that'll last them right there for a little bit. Um, the money is still going up. Let me, uh, Take care of this real quick. Alright, come on. Uh, I may have to let the tailgate down force it out. Come on. Um Ah. There we go. I guess the others are holding it. There we go. Oh. That said? Yeah, sixty-one dollars. All right. Put the tailgate back up. Oh, uh, let's see here. Now that's a three-point hitch on that. Fuel trailer, I will be probably selling too when it gets empty. Got some stumps to grind up here first. So, I'm um, trying to think where we're at, folks. Uh, I need these wood chips up. So, uh, I can take this loader down to the cows down there. Let's see if I can try to sail while that is running. Which uh, it's doing a good job. Let's just see if it's gonna make it go a little bit faster. Shall we? Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, I know what I'm gonna do then. I'm trying to uh da -da. thank you. I might need to pause it and just go ahead and get the combines down here but then again I kind of just want to wait but I should have picked that up when I went across here but I, I'm kind of wanting to pull from this end oh that is full pull from this side that way I know the conveyor belt will reach But y'all drop me uh, uh, some comments down below. Uh oh, speaking of quitting, it just quit. Alright. But drop me some comments down below uh, if you want me to take the money we get from this and put it towards a new map or to start the new map like it is on. On normal I'm not going to do hard because it's hard's hard folks regardless 
I was probably cheating. I'm not bratty, I'm 73, so. Nor am I daggering. I, I hate doing that, folks. I'm not using those names to... Okay, yeah, I am. I'm using those names to gain uh, whatever it's called. Everybody does it sooner or later, right? I'm not... I, well, I'm, I'm just basically just saying, you know, I'm not saying... There's some good YouTubers out there. I'm not saying that they're bad. They're really good. I started from Brad M73. Well, he didn't make me, but I'm saying he was my influencer. You know, I looked at his videos there for a while, and then my son said, Dad, you can do that. I'm like, you know what, son? You're right. All I need is a good computer. You know, I don't have no $6,000 computer. And he's like, you got a laptop. So I started on my laptop. I had pretty good fun too. Still having fun. Yeah, sometimes it's, uh, can be, uh, oh, what can I say? It'd be a pain in the neck sometimes. Oh, there's got to be a heel somewhere. Yeah, there's a heel. I'm just going to get the right leverage here. Oh, it's spitting back out as much as I put in. There we go. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, uh... I love doing this. I love playing this game. I've been playing it <laughs> for a long time. My son got a uh, farming simulator 13 from a yard sale. 50 cents. Dad, play this with me. Uh, okay. Biggest mistake of my life. I played it with that boy, and now he's like, I wish I never found it. I then got him burned out on it. Help me, son. Help me. I need some help. Let me cut these trees down. Hmm. That is pretty nice, folks. I love it. Like I said, it, you know, here it is 2017. I'm playing it. Came from 13, so now I'm making videos of it. And having people say, "Well, why don't you make other videos?" I tried that. I tried Minecraft, Mortal Kombat, but maybe I need to try again. But it's like, I never did get no views on it. I don't know if i done something wrong with the tags or what. But anyway, I have bored y'all enough with this. I think I'm going to go ahead and... I need to get this little spot right here up. And then I'll take it out to the cows. Before I do anything else, really, let me switch on over. This is a good spot. Cows need potatoes. So let's go get a load of potatoes. Kind of get everything situated here. Like I said, we're not going to close off any couple episodes whatsoever close by I don't think I said that right there's going to be at least 10 or more episodes for Goldcrest oh man it's got some fires in back up drop these off but uh like I said, we still got quite a few episodes left before we get everything out of the way. Let me see. Sunflowers. That is. Oh, man. Sugar beet's not in this. Sugar beet's not in this one. Going to have to go down south to, uh, 
Central. Do they? I thought I gave them. No, oh, they need sugar beets. Wow. All right, folks. Um, I guess let's take a ride down south. As you can see, well, you can't really see them too far away. But there is some hay or grass or something in there. We gotta get it out. We gotta get the harvest done. It's coming up. So next episode will be a harvest for sure. And, uh... Ah, what am I doing? What am I stopping here for? I go over here. All right, we got wheat in here. Soybeans in here. Corn. And sugar beets. Wow. Okay. All right, well, we just took 15,000 out. What was that, 39 something? That's one thing that the PC, I'm not PC, the Xbox One version of Farming Simulator should update their system where we have a side map or something. Or at least put a thing on the side of the building where we tell what's in it. And that way you know you can just drive there. Oh, hey, I got this, this, and this in there. Okay. At least do it that way, you know. But I need to move all the sugar beets out and put them over here. But I don't really have time for all that. Oop. Please go by robot. Try to keep it from hitting. Wow. That's the first time I ever brought sugar beets over here and it held them all. Alright, well that put it pretty much close where we need to be. Alright, so cows just need power food. I'm just going to leave this tractor here. Um, here's our combines. I probably will drive all up up to field one and start from there. What's this thing got in a straw? <gasps> Oops. That's one thing about this thing. We can drive the pecan down there and get the straw. We don't have to have it on the ground. Right, I'm going to dump that in there and drive this up and folks I, I, I'm sorry I know I probably could have fast forward through this part here but I'm trying to fix where Xbox One is not so much editing to do to it I can just record and be done all I gotta do is put the intro and the outro on it and don't have to pay attention to nothing in the middle saves a lot of time I don't know what I was doing. I just went right past that. You see that? And I want to apologize to y'all. Y'all probably like, well, he's just cheating us out of uh, time and stuff. It, it's not that. I six thousand four hundred forty-one for that. Cool beans. But to explain a little bit, ooh, we're gonna have to check our sheep's. We'll let it drop one more pallet. That way I know which one of them's. Now see, even on PC, you can put your hand on it and it tells you how much is in the pallet. So I don't know which one's full or not. But uh, let's see here. Do I need, I need the front motor. Oh, yeah, there we go. 
Oh, this pile's almost done, you know. Okay, I'm gonna scoop some of this up over here. It don't look like it's trying to reach right here. But anyway, what I was saying is, uh, as soon as I get done recording this, I'm going to switch over to West Bridge Hills and record an episode. And then I will edit it. Actually, to be honest, if I get West Bridge Hills done uh, recording, I'm going to go to bed. And then tomorrow, I'm going to edit it. And then I'm going to turn around and edit the vlog for Sunday at Lab Mayhem. And that way, Saturday and Sunday, well, most day Friday, all day Saturday, will be free. And then usually Sunday morning, right before the kids wake up, I will record an episode then for like a American Outback. That way, uh, I'll record. Uh, I mean, I edit it Sunday evening while I'm spending time with the kids and stuff, and uh, uploading it stuff so I'll be ready for Monday. That gives me a weekend time free with the kids and stuff that's what I try to do it don't work all the time but uh yeah uh oh conveyor belt done stop Let's see what I can do here uh oh we're gonna kind of twist it like that and then hop in this in I said hop in this one. Uh oh. Nah. I always get turn around. There we go. So almost up her pretty good, folks. Uh, this mainly going to go back by paying our loan back. What, right, Mr. Please, you can buy something with that. Well, if I pay the loan back, I won't have to worry about the interest. Oh, man. And then I can buy something. Well, pretty much mine is over with for this game anyway. Uh, yeah, I think I done made my mind up to uh, sell off. But like I said, I want to get everything gone out of here. And then uh, start selling the equipment off. And then, if it's not too much money, you know, if it's like a million dollars, we might put it towards another episode. Not an episode, but a, another map. It'd be like a starting off. Because there's like a hundred maps out now. Uh, I know I said I was tired of Sonoka and we actually got rid of Sonoka because I was tired of it but there's a map out now called God's Country and it's Sonoka that's been re remastered or re-edited there's a house now on it instead of the big old shop right there and it's all kind of other things, so. Yeah. I 
Ah, uh, come on now. Got hard to get that. I had to run the conveyor belt over it to get that. It's done got out anyway, so. Let's just see what we got here. Um, there we go. Move this out of the way. Let's see. I should keep that over a little bit. And like I said, we might go ahead and sell these conveyor right but Oh, quit spinning. Making me dizzy. Making me dizzy. All right. Yep. Oh, okay. Come on. Turn around. I think I can use this to pull most of this in. I hope. Oh, yeah. Uh, my phone going off again. I don't know who it was that time. All right, folks. That's all the wood chips. So we got 163,591. Um, I was trying to say, where is that? But that's the light they got set up there. Okay. All right, let's go to the bank. And they don't let me go all the way through this stuff. All right, and of course, it's going every 5,000. All right, less than 100,000 away. Let's leave us well, 18,000 to play with, give or take. I can get that loan down pretty quick, but it's going to involve in uh, selling some sellage from the cows. But that's all right. We, uh, man, I wish this had to follow me my own. We're going to run this on down to cows so we can fill the uh, pecan up and then uh, that'll probably be it for tonight. But actually, this ain't night, folks. This is morning. That's right. It's 7.47 a.m. in the morning. The sun is coming up. Because I stopped the time. Whoa. Over. I stopped the time at 6 a.m. And, uh, of course, I was waiting on a uh, video to go off so I can start recording. I was watching it. And it got to, like, what, 6.30, I think, when I started recording? Somewhere in there. But yeah, that's, that's another thing about being a YouTuber. You have a lot of videos that you want to watch, but yet you can't really watch them all when you want to because you have to stop record or you won't have nothing for the next day to upload. That's the only downside of being a YouTuber, or to me it is. And taking vacations. Taking vacations is a is a very uh, hard thing to, to decide. You know, you always want family to come first, but then you got well, you got another family out there with subscribers. Uh, so, yeah, black spot right there. So uh, that's why I made that one video here a while back. I uh, would have to park a tractor in the way, wouldn't I? I made a video here a while back to Lake Poinsett and I just like, I'll just make a, a video on my, my bag here and uh, show them what all I got in my bag. And it turned out pretty good. Which, uh, yeah. Oh, folks, I don't think this is going to last very long. We may have to do some more hay 
so we'll see. May have to get a trailer down here. I think it's what I'm gonna do with one of those trailers, the small gray ones, is to get a get one of them down here so we can load straw. We will get the front loader, and it's gonna be loading everything for us. I did have it memorized. I think it was like three buckets of straw, six buckets of hay, and six buckets, six or eight buckets of sewage that goes in this thing. Yeah, it might be a little less than that or something. I don't know. We'll have to play with it and uh, find out where we're going to go from there. But folks, I hope y'all like Pleasant Valley. Uh, kind of showed off some mods at this time around. Pretty sure y'all done seen it by now. If not, please go check it out. I think it was very interesting. I had a track hole or excavator, what some folks call them. And uh, pretty neat. I just wish the bucket was bigger on the front of it. Now uh, this is also where PC would come in that would give me a readout. That's right. Here I am hitting F1. I just hope I didn't mess up that because I'm recording. But, uh. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Uh, I hope that didn't go through, folks. I hit F1 and it pulled up my Internet Explorer. So I'm so sorry on that. Um, uh, hear me hitting a bunch of buttons. Help window is on. So right now I got mixed rations. I think I can do a bucket of each. Well, what, how much? Oh, I ain't nowhere near close to uh, 64,000 liters. I'm gonna do a bucket of hay. Oh no, let me do a bucket of straw. I mean, uh, solage. Mr. Blue can't talk. They're getting tongue tied. Uh oh. Um. I'm just trying to make a, a ramp right here. And I'm full. I don't want to quit. Try to make an easier ramp there where I can go up. That way I can load a truck easier. Because I'm thinking about loading about 70,000 into a truck and going selling it. Let's see where it's at now. It's still rations. I'm gonna need a load of hay. Get a bucket full of hay here. And y'all notice I am saying it right. Kind of, sort of, somewhat. Ah. That was so close to having all that up. I love the front loader here. Alright. Go ahead and dump that. I don't like that because that's not realistic. But hey. Hey. Get it? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. 51,000. Okay. Uh, a little bit more, folks. And, uh,. We'll go dump it. Because yeah, we got way more sullage here than we can even dream of.
Come on, cut into it. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Starting to get a little dip into it there. At least one thing about it, this, you have the sounds and stuff. Whoa, whoa. Gotta check it. Okay, still rations. It's almost full. I think I can dump the rest of them in there. I hope so. If not, I just missed it. Alrighty. See what we got now. Cow dish. 62,000. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Now we got this guy to catch a little robot going. And he's coming this way, so let's hop around here. If I'm not mistaken, I think the sheeps need a little bit more food also. So uh, we'll get that filling up. Ow. Got a mosquito or something biting my leg. We need to run this down and sell this head. <laughs> Sell some head. <laughs> okay. Um. But yeah, folks, this a uh, oh, uh, relapse of everything. You know, I own all the fields. All the fields playing soybeans set for ten, five, nine, and thirteen. Five, nine, and thirteen's got corn in them. And yeah, another you know another reason why I want to cancel this and out is because we have Pleasant Valley 17 V2, and we also have the Gold Crest Valley PC edition. Uh, and I just think it's too much Gold Crest. You know, even Pleasant Valley, I'm tired Pleasant Valley is heart of go Chris. If uh, new people out there don't know what I'm talking about, go check out Friday's video, which was yesterday. The heart of Pleasant Valley is go Chris. So, uh, yeah. It's a 4X map, and go Chris makes up about 75% of it to me. Yeah, maybe 65. But anyway. 16,413 sale. Sold. We're up to 35,000. Uh, or. Ugh, our robot's probably done back around. Oh, he's coming back. I'm just going to drive the other one. Because we're just about out of time. Mighty Mouse, here to save the day. Oh, I'm getting old, old things back in my head. Did I even hit that? I didn't hit that there. Oh, yeah, I did too. Let's go here real quick. As you can see, solage, hay, and power food are moving up, folks. And I explained this on the, I think, the yesterday's video. Well, I didn't have no silage, hay, or power food, and I dumped power food in, and it took care of the bottom two lines, which is silage, hay, and power food. You don't, it has silage and hay, it's either or, but, yeah. Uh oh, it's out. Wow, that didn't even fill it up. Now, as you can tell, and I re recaps this, you know, I'm going to run all the food and stuff out. So that tells you right there that there's going to be more in just a couple episodes. And if 
if I fast forward this right now, it still take a long time to run all that food out, folks. But, um, I don't know. I thought about selling a couple loads of pigs to buy some cows and sheep. And that way it helped run the food out faster, I think. I'm not for sure. And why I am in this screen, pay back a little bit more. So we're down to 40000 is what we got left to pay. A load of pigs will take care of that, folks. So I'll probably... Uh, just what I'll do too. Take a load of pigs off. Um, I'm gonna leave these trailers up here because we're gonna start our harvest right up there. So yeah, I'm gonna leave these trailers up here. Um, I'll tell you what, one thing I will do and that's going to be this right here. We're not going to need this log trailer no more. Not going to sell no more logs that I know of. Um, can't tell them either because the. Well, horses fatigue. Alright, we can fix this. We'll move his purple truck out of the way. Should be blue and yellow. Blue and yellow, blue and yellow. Oh, heck, it's way back there, no wonder. Now this is a pretty good trailer for uh, this uh, console version. But, uh, yeah. Raise up now. Ah, okay, pay attention to the road, Mr. But you can raise up now and all around. Put those logs in here. If you're that type of person. To me, I done fell in love with the auto load trailer from the PC. You know, you just cut your logs and pull up to them and bam, they're in there. You know what? I'll go around. <laughs> Mr. Blue. Oh, you so crazy, Mr. Blue. I really don't know what we're going to do with the solage machine. <gasps> oh my god, I just ran over a blonde. No, baby, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to run over you. Ooh-wee. Okay. Back to work. All right, folks. Uh, 25,628 selling. Yay. Now, I'm selling some of this. Selling some of it now. And this is the fifth wheel that I have to take up north to hook those two blue trailers together. But I don't think this truck's got a back hitch on it. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. It does have a hitch, but I don't know. We'll try it. See, and then we're going to get out of here because I am over on my time, folks. So if you like what you saw, please hit that like button. Share me with your friends and subscribe if you want to, folks. I make content just about every day. Unless I'm sick or something. Knock on wood, I won't be. Um, alright. Perfect. Um, so, uh, 2 p.m. Central Time. Every day. And then, uh, Wednesdays and Sundays is 11 a.m. If I make it on Wednesdays. Wednesdays is a, a rare occasion. Um, well, I have some extra content. I'll do it on Wednesdays if not, and this be for Sunday only. But uh, if you subscribe and turn on that bell icon down below beside the subscribe button, just make that bell ring, you'll be notified of my content no matter when I post. 
So, uh, having to say all that, folks, I guess I'm gonna get out of here. Is I don't want to edit none, try to make this shorter or anything. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, if you do anything, just share me. Share me with your friends. That's the most thing. You already done the other part if you watched it to here. Watching me helps out a, a lot, folks, just watching. So, uh, if you are uh, a, a good person and subscribes and likes my video and stuff, I, I, I really appreciate it even more. I don't know why I'm backing up. But anyway, folks, I got to go. I uh, probably won't do nothing but to shut this game off and start recording Westbridge Hills for Sunday. So, uh, y'all have a great day. A blessed day. Here on Mr. Blue Farms. Farming Center 17. Oh, who? I wish they had a way you put it in neutral and rev the motor up. Go boom, boom. But, anyway, that's just a thought. See y'all next time, folks. Bye.